What's up YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again and today we're taking a trip down memory lane by going through all of my current and previously existing channels that either I have taken part in or have helped create. Actually mostly helped create but you'll get the point in a second here okay. So we're actually gonna be going through all the channels I've been through in the last maybe five six years. Some are still active most are not. Uh, and before we get into those channels, what I want to talk about really quickly is this channel, obviously Robbie Vapes. I've been posting for quite a while on this channel, about four or five years now. And so one of the things I want to bring up is that none of the Robbie Vapes videos will be featured in this video. Instead, we're going to do a separate video looking at all of my old videos and kind of doing a reaction to them. And I have to admit, some of them are pretty cringy. Uh, who knows, maybe the 3000 watt fog machine makes an appearance. We'll see. And yeah, so we're going to go through that on a separate video. This video is all about the other channels I have and just a little bit of a walk down kind of what I've been through the last five or six years, uh, including some channels I created slash was pretty active on during my hi hiatus from this channel. Uh, but to kick things off, we're actually going to start with our my first channel ever. And this was a channel called Try Ball Pythons. And so obviously it's snake related for those of you who know about ball pythons and it is still in existence to this day. However, the name of the channel has changed to Gruly Constrictors. This, however, is from when it was back in uh, the Tribal Python days. And essentially this is pretty much one of my first ever YouTube videos. This would have been going back about 10 years now. I think I might've been 20, maybe 21 at the time. So it's definitely interesting definitely worth a sneak peek and uh without further ado here is the first clip from the first channel now burly constrictors at the time tribal pythons so that was the lock of my tofino project really excited about that hoping to get eggs in the next couple months um, and really hoping to hit on the odds on that one but as i promised i did promise to get some more video i'm going to show them off here in a second all i can say is just double code on uh, but before I show them off here, I am going to show you guys a quick clip of my new caramel albino. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let me know what you think. Alright, next up on our list is actually one that most people here would be familiar with. This is a channel that I believe died off recently, but was since taken over by several other hosts after I left. And in fact, even when I was still there, we had so many changes in hosts, it was just incredible. Uh, the channel I'm talking about, of course, is Project Fog, as some of you may be familiar with. And essentially, this was a collaboration channel between, originally, myself, HV, who I'm not going to say the name, but some of you probably know who I'm talking about, uh, and VH, who, again, some of you probably know who I'm talking about there, uh, which then evolved into having uh, Ownboy Josh on there, and then obviously having Gizzard Stew and Fresh 3 and many other guest appearances on that channel. Uh, including like Matt from Stuck My Mod was on it, Mike Vapes was on it a couple times, so many key people on that channel that really uh, just made it a really cool collaborative experience. Unfortunately, it, you know, it, it obviously died out and that was one of the uh, last channels that I was actively a part of while still being a part of Robbie Vapes. And ironically, I actually stopped doing Project Fog to focus more on this channel which then never actually happened. So I ended up just neglecting both channels, but I thought it was cool. So here's a quick clip from uh, one of the Project Fog episodes. I'm not gonna feature one with HV in it, uh, mainly just because I don't think he wants to be on YouTube anymore. So I don't want to bring him into that uh, for that purpose. So here's a quick clip from Project Fog. So what's new for you guys? Uh, the only thing I saw that infuriated me this week is uh, the FDA is getting ready to pull the suicide warning off of Chantix. Uh, Gee, what? Really? <laughs> oh, that's validly infuriating, honey. All right, after Project Fog, we actually have a bit of a more interesting channel. This is a channel that only has like four videos on it. Uh, I was not the one editing those videos, and you can probably tell because they are much better uh, quality than the ones I do, but this channel was all about uh, a collaboration between myself and two other locals here in Calgary, uh, Donya and Jason. Jason is the owner of Evolution Vape here in Calgary, 
If you have not been and you are in the area, please go check him out. He is a super nice guy and uh, definitely worth stopping by the store because they are amazing there. That said, this channel, Breaking Mods. The premise on here is very simple. It involved basically testing the durability of various mods in excess throughout the episode. So it would start with a simple drop test and then work its way up to literally us firing guns at them just to see if they would stop a bullet. And surprisingly, there was a, an episode which I'm about to show you where a mod was able to take a 22 uh, bullet without breaking one time. The second and third time it didn't fare so well. I wouldn't recommend using it or considering it to be bulletproof, but I thought it was interesting nonetheless. And so uh, here's a quick clip from Breaking Mods. I can see you again. How can I not hit it? I feel like I'm so close every time. <laughs> Good fucking eyes. <laughs> uh, can you pick right. those out? I think you gotta fire some more guns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is Nick. I don't know. I think you can still Thanks. vape that. Yeah. <laughs> you can still vape. Oh, we lost it. Alright, so after breaking mods, we actually have a channel that I have advertised on this channel here before. I did like a side by side video of me talking to myself uh, from different channels. The channel I'm referring to is called Reply All. It is still in existence. It is inactive, just like pretty much all the other channels that I've brought up up to this point. Uh, however, it was interesting because it started as a not suitable for work channel. Uh, a lot of swearing, a lot of doing whatever I wanted to, uh, including like a lot of poker videos on there. I, I got really into playing online poker. I uh, started streaming it on there and I thought it was a really fun little kind of exercise and channel. But I realized that I didn't want to limit myself to a not suitable for work channel and actually decided to branch off into it being more of a family friendly channel. Uh, so anyone who did end up subscribing may have seen the transition from like poker videos and like chugging beer videos into like let's plays uh, and trying to keep it a little bit more PG. And I actually had a decent growth from that transition, which I think really helped. But at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, the biggest restraint with those channels or with that channel in particular was that I just wasn't having as much fun doing the video or the content that I kind of otherwise would have. And so I, it ended up falling to the wayside, but uh, here's a quick clip of the family friendly style of that uh, channel reply all. Uh, we'll do a raspberry. And with the ultra ball. Ooh, that was a bad throw, bad throw. Zubats are like my weakness for throwing. This is Pokemon Go all over again. Got it, got it. Oh, yes. Oh, so stoked. We got it, we got the shiny Zubat. All right, the next channel, and yes, there is more. There are several channels I've attempted to, so bear with me here. But this one was a very interesting channel and it actually had some very cool guests on the show. Uh, the channel was called The Great Devape. It was a collaboration between myself and Donya. And essentially the premise of the video was to debate vape topics one-on-one. -on -one. Although sometimes other people joined in, we even had someone like Fresh on the show for a commercial versus DIY video we had to do. And then we also had uh, Vape and Fagin on the show for a vooping versus not vooping episode. Uh, and that should give you an idea of kind of the hilarity of the premise and, and how serious we took it. There were some controversial subjects in there, don't get me wrong. But I mean, we did videos like Drippers versus, RD, or Drippers versus Tanks. We did uh, DIY versus Commercial. Uh, and several other videos in there. Here's a clip from one of those videos. Uh, and the result is, is that you guys were able to vote on those to see who was the winner and the loser would have to do something super embarrassing. Uh, so you'll also see a clip of me drinking fish tank water, uh, which was not pleasant, but in the spirit of the channel, I thought it was a very fun and interesting uh, way to really engage with the audience there and really boost up kind of what we had going on there. So, The Great to Vape, here it is. Hi guys, welcome to The Great to Vape. I lost, obviously, I have to wear the cowboy hat, which is no problem. Thank you everyone, by the way. You guys are the greatest fans ever. Vote for me, come on. 
You guys have to love me in some way or another. Okay, rule number one, never trust someone in a cowboy hat. I'm telling you that right now. You made me wear this. I know, wasn't it great? All right, all right. moving on. What I is today's topic? We gotta pick a topic today, what is it? Dripping versus tanking. All right, and what side would you like to take since you're the loser? Dripping. You would pick dripping. <laughs> all right, I guess I gotta defend the tanks then. These beautiful little creations here. All right, so I guess what we'll do is I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. All right, winner goes first, of course. <laughs> Dripping versus tanks. It's a simple question. Convenience. What is more convenient than having a tank with you? Not to mention the upside of having to carry it everywhere you want to go, not having juice leak out in your pocket. I mean, come on. What is there even a question to this one? Tanks versus drippers? Really? We have enough technology in the tanks these days. You don't need a dripper anymore. No one carries a dripper around anymore. Uh, except for me sometimes, but that's the exception. Anyways. Oh, I'm doing close pretty good on time. We got plenty of time here. It'll bring so yeah, drippers time. versus tanks. I mean, let's face it. You want the convenience of a tank. You want to not have to drip every two minutes just to refresh your coils or whatever. A tank is just an all-in-one package where you get everything you want right here in this little beautiful device. Tanks, you have so much variety. You can choose. You can go from the Kangers. You can go from the, the Atlantics. You can go up to the TFB4s. Maybe something else if that's your preference. You can do rebuildables. I'm counting RTAs as a tank. That is a rebuildable tank atomizer. There you go. You want to build? You got your fix in RTAs. Alright, are you working with it? Oh. Hopefully he pukes. I probably will. <laughs> Alright, Robbie. There's some nice floaties in there for you, too. Oh, it's so fucking gross. <laughs> All right. That is a lot of water. <laughs> you don't have to drink it all. You have to at least drink half of it. Robbie's got to drink at least half of it. There's a little bit in there, as you guys can see. Here you go, Robbie. Yeah, <laughs> that's a change. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm pretty sure I'm fucked. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Mark, quit enabling her. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. The things I do for you. Ready for the runs? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so bad. Hey, you are said the, you would do it earlier. Are there little fish shits in there? Like little turds? <laughs> I there's think some there chunks. Is. There's some food chunks. Oh, that's so <laughs> gross. Oh, and he just ate a live crayfish this morning, too. <laughs> oh. Yes. Canadians drink everything. Oh, oh and now Daniel comes on just to watch me suffer. I got my chaser here. Uh -oh. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> Ready for to watch Robbie drink some fish water? Yeah. Hell yeah. Lots of protein. See? Chug, chug, chug. Oh. Hold your breath and chug. If you hold your nose, you won't taste it. Yeah. That's a myth. Have you seen the size of my nose? It's not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get it done with. All right. Chug really like a shot. Cheers. To the audience, <laughs> to, uh, to Mark, to Daniel, and uh, to Tuke Day. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God. You finished it. Damn. Cheers. <laughs> How did that taste? All right, and lastly, the last channel I'm going to talk about today is a channel that is still somewhat active. Uh, it is kind of to do with my other side of not, I'm not just a vapor. I'm also a human who has many hobbies and interests, some of which include some kind of interesting things, uh, specifically around spiders and arachnids. And so this channel is called Tarantula Exotics. It also features my saltwater tank that I have. Um, and it's essentially just my more recent, more somewhat active channel. I will admit I've taken a bit of a step back from it and kind of been posting here and there rather than on a regular basis, but I do plan on keeping that channel a little bit more up to date. Although this going forward, Robbie Vapes will be my main channel again. I've decided to step back into it. Hopefully I don't go away for too long this time. Uh, but you've already seen like three videos in the last week. Uh, and then of course this one coming out. So by this point you should probably see that I am becoming more active again. And whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's up to you guys to decide. But uh, anyways, without this channel, there's Tarantula Exotics. And Tarantula Exotics, here's a quick clip from that one. 
uh, including a lot of spiders that are featured in that channel. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so far we are up to three, six, seven total. There's a couple bigger ones in here I'm kind of saving. Oh, it's one of my favorites. You guys remember Paladin? Well, Paladin now has a princess. If this is a female and if Paladin is a male, which I don't know yet. Uh, from Ictopus Cancerides, one of my favorite all-time spiders. All right, guys, so that is the premise of the channels that I've been on and featured on uh, throughout the years. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was an interesting trip down memory lane. The inspiration from this video really came from just watching some old videos and it got me thinking and I saw myself being excited back then and I missed that and the last couple of years I haven't been as excited to post videos especially on this channel like I had but seeing those videos and watching them again it got me so excited and it got me back into making content for you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and a comment on which channel you think was your favorite not including Robbie Vapes uh, and let me know. I'm curious to know. Maybe I can work and persuade some people to revive one of those channels if you guys are interested. Uh, otherwise, we will leave it there for now. And as always, YouTube, happy vaping.